A very good evening. Welcome to our quizzes, uh, second part of electricity, part two. We are going to look at a question. I'm going to talk about the difficult one. Question number one, I think most of you can do, and the same goes to number two. All right, to find current, we are going to use formula power equals to VI. All right, power equals to VI. So in order to find current, all right, it will be power over potential difference. Is that okay? All right. Uh, possibly I would uh, be uh, showing to you if you need uh, me to show. All right. And uh, afterwards, we are going to move on to number, right, number three. Okay. Number three. Let's take a good look. All right. So if you doubt uh, question number two, I can show you here in the uh, whiteboard. It's a very simple and a direct one. Yeah, let's take a good look. All right. In order for you to find the current, all right, you are going to use formula power equals to VI. Clear? You're going to use formula power equals to VI. So I understood to find current is going to be power over V. And the power is in the wrong unit. It's in the power in the unit to 0 0.5 kilowatt. We change it to what? Then you'll be a five, uh, one, two, three, five hundred, right? Over the uh, potential difference, two hundred and forty. Simple calculation, it will be two point something, right? Because five hundred over two hundred fifty become a two. So this is going to be slightly more than two. So the best answer is going to be two point zero eight. All right, let's move to question number three. This could be a little bit hard. Okay, let's let's zoom in and take a look at that question. All right, diagram shows electric circuit consists of two wire of the same material and thickness, but different length. If another identical wire is connected in series with wire two, all right, in wire two, all right, uh, what are the changes in the reading of the word meter or ammeter? Okay, so what you do is you need to do comparison. It's going to be the best all right, uh, at the beginning, they have the same material and same thickness for the first conductor and the second conductor. All right, if another identical wire is connected with this, okay, in series with the second wire, what are the changes? All right, so allow me to make the diagram bigger. Okay, all right, another wire connected in series uh, with wire two. Uh. You see the wire two there? All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have. Right, uh, my diagram and large. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I would try to come up with similar diagram. Okay, just give me one moment for the drawing so that we are going to make comparison afterwards. All right, after we add, uh, okay, um, all right, let me draw it somewhere in the middle. Right, so that you're able to have some space. All right, okay. So it's going to be something like this. All right, we're gonna have here as your, all right, A2, and this is going to be a A1. All right, and uh, I'm gonna have the first wire wire number one, I'm going to put one there, right? I'm going to put one there. And uh, there will be a, okay, it will come back here to okay, wire number two, all right? Wire number two, so I'm going to put a two there with a potential difference, which I'm going to draw here, all right? Or possibly I'm going to draw it in blue color so that you can differentiate between the red uh, circuit and the blue one. All right, there you go. So I'm gonna put the blue one as uh, the one here, it will be V1, all right, V1, okay, towards the top. And uh, the other one will be V2, so I'm gonna draw it like this, V2, all right, over the other side. Okay, so, uh, it will be here, okay, the whole thing, all right, okay, I will draw a bigger version, all 
All right. So what we do now is I'm going to give myself value. All right. I'm going to give myself value to make my calculation easier. So what I do is uh, I allow me to put a value there. I'm going to put here as, uh, how should I say, a 3 ohm. All right, 3 ohm. And at the top is going to be 3 ohm because it say the same material, the same line. All right. And uh, allow me to put a, a 6 volt here. Right. Okay, six volt here. Okay, let us do calculation. All right, to find the value for emitter A1, A2, B1, B2. All right, it's not going to be very difficult. Okay, so, all right. Okay. So, understood. Okay, at the beginning, it is all in, um, uh, we are going to get the total resistance first. Okay. The fastest way to get V1, all right, I'm going to give in blue color. Right now, because the potential difference supplied here is uh, originally 6 volt, all right, and uh, it is used for individual volt meter reading across V1. So V1 must be 6 volt, all right, which is parallel, right, to V2 is going to be 6 volt. So what we do now is we are going to find current, all right. Okay, so how do we find current? We are going to uh, start with total resistance, right? Total resistance first. That's your first step, right? Okay, first step, total resistance is going to be effective 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 because it's parallel, right? Power negative 1. So you're going to have a 2 over 3 and I inverse 3 over 2 become 1.5. Okay, that is going to be perfect, all right? And we're going to go to second part, which is current. All right, so to find current understood is going to be the potential difference supplied, which is going to be 6 over 1.5. You're going to get a 4 ampere, and we're going to split into two. Why? Because I1 and I2 will be split um, um, equally. All right, so in other words, I1 will carry, all right, 2 ampere. All right. I probably, okay, and I2 will carry also 2 ampere. So I end, when I add up, I will get back the total current. I will write here IS, which is going to be 4 ampere. So now what I'm going to do now is you are asked to put another uh, resistance, right? Another resistance series to the second Y. So let me draw here. All right. Okay. And I'm going to put back the same value. The assume is going to be 3 ohm. All right, huh? assume it's going to be 3 ohm, right? Then you'll be able to see, okay, let me check with the, uh, right? Let me check with the uh, drawing again, right? Let me check with the drawing. Okay, there you go. All right, understood. But the wood meter supply is still the same, all right? As the wood meter supply is still the same, therefore, we would have the understanding that, all right, V1, all right, is receiving the potential difference from the main power uh, supply or power source, which is also 6 volt. Therefore, V1 and V2 must be the same because we never change this. This and this will still be the same as the original. Okay, and let's take a look at the uh, current now. All right, let's take a look at the current. Is it correct? Okay. Then let's take a look at current. So to find current, we're going to do the same thing all over again. First, total resistance, all right? Uh, we know that uh, at the bottom, you're going to add up. I'm going to use green, all right? Green ink, that this resistance and this resistance, you're going to add up to give you, uh, right? To give you 6 ohm, because they are in series, right? They are in series, all right? 6 ohm and 3 ohm, they are in parallel. So my calculation will turn to be like this, okay? Effective resistance, all right? 1 over 3, to make you understand better, I'm going to do like this. I'm going to show you another step. All right. Okay. The 3 ohm in blue color plus another 3 ohm in red color because they are series. All right. And the whole thing, I'm going to close bracket and power negative 1. Or they will give me a 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 power negative 1. 
all right so to proceed i'm going to get everything under all right everything under number six and a power negative one all right i'm going to have a two at the top and one at the bottom all right and i inverse it all right i'm going to inverse it i'm going to have a six over three that will give me a two ohm that will be the first step and the second step all right will be is all right which is going to be total boo which is six over two so therefore I will get different current three ampere. All right. So how do they split? I just do accordingly because I know the value of V1. All right. I know the value of V1 and V2. So in order to give me the value of I1, all right, which is the current the flow at the top channel, I will use back the bu one, which is okay. I possibly I will I will I will use the symbol first V1 over R1. So R1 is going to be 3 ohm. So I'm going to get a 6 over 3 ohm that will give me a 2 ampere. All right, there you go. All right, let's compare with I2. So I2, I will use by the same formula, which is, uh, right, okay, I2, huh? let me write it properly, which is also going to be BU. All right, okay, this BU2 is still the same as BU1, all right, over the total R. So the total R now is going to be a six, or I put it at the bottom, all right? The three ohm in blue plus another three ohm in red color, they will give me a six over six, they will give me one ampere, all right? And you can prove it's correct because you are going to add these two up, they will give you the main current, three ampere, yeah? All right, so now we're going to compare the answer according to the uh, what should i say all right the suggested answer you notice that the v will be the same okay i'm gonna i'm gonna circle in green right v1 all right the reading of the wood meter will be remain the same is that correct is that correct okay and then let's check okay let's check your i1 and i2 all right huh? do you notice that i1 is going to be the same i1 remain the same all right do you notice i1 remain the same all right, I1 remain the same 2 ampere. Okay, 2 ampere, but your I2 decreases. Clear? So I'm going to move a slightly little bit away. All right. Okay, so you notice that, right? Uh, the selection of your answer is the one in green button. All right, let's go through. All right, V1 and V2 at the end is written there the same, but A1 is the same, A2 lower. All right, do you notice A1 is the same? A1 means I1. All right, I1 is the same, 2 ampere, 2 ampere, but A, I2, all right? I2 is lower. I2 is lower, all right? I2 is lower, you notice that it reduces, all right? It's lower, it reduces from, all right? Okay, uh, let me make it smaller a bit. Okay, here, I make it smaller so that you can make comparison. Give me one moment. All right. So, hang on, uh, one more time. Sometimes we need to make it small in order for you to see the difference. Okay, hang on. Okay, so you not you can notice that. All right, I1 is the same. All right, I1 is the same. All right, 2 ampere, 2 ampere. By your I2, all right, become lower. All right, I2, then I2, you notice uh, I'm going to circle it maybe using the different ink. Okay, I probably use a blue one to circle it. All right, do you notice that the I2 in the blue box? All right, okay, from 2 ampere. Right from two ampere, it become uh, lower. Right, become one ampere. You notice that? Okay, fine. You'll be able to see the comparison. I repeat. Okay, let's let's go through again. I repeat. All right, V one six ampere, a uh, six volt. V two six volt for both left and right. So the wood meter reading it remain the same. All right, but I one. All right, I one still the same. I one on the left in blue. And I1 on the right in red, still 2 ampere, but I2 from 2 ampere reduces to 1 ampere. Okay, there you go. All right, let's move away from here. 
So in exam, you need to do comparison. You have no choice unless you are very good. You can see through the question. Okay, um, energy. This is going to be uh, using formula. Uh, what is that? Okay, you are given uh, right energy. You can use PT. All right. Okay, you can use PT. is an easy one. We are not going to uh, right. You you can use the formula I square RT. Right to find your I, all right, and the R and the T. Okay, so it's an easy one for now. Question number four. We're gonna to move to number five. All right. Okay, energy. They ask you which one uh, consume the most. Then understood. Energy is PT. All right, PT. So you're gonna look at the highest power. So highest power understood. The one thousand five. Okay, electric kettle has the highest power. All right. Okay, assuming. See, they all use the. Uh, electrical appliances in the same uh, within the same time five minutes so you look at the power all right so the highest power is understood 1500 which is the electric kettle all right therefore okay we move to the next one so this is another question that i probably will need to show right when a switch is closed the word meter reading is 5.6 and this is a very common question Right, that require uh, the formula that I already have shown earlier on, all right, in our first part, all right, of our uh, electricity uh, work, okay, which is going to be V equivalent to electromotive minus IR. So what we do is we're going to put in the value, all right, the highest value must be electromotive six, smallest one will be the potential difference reading, which is the reading of the wood meter, 5.6, all right? And we know the current the flow, you are given to 0 0.5, and they ask you to find internal resistance, all right? You see very clear. We're gonna bring your negative 0 0.5 to the left side to get you a positive 0 0.5 R, and we're gonna bring the six uh, 5.6 from the left to the right, become negative. So you're gonna get a 0 0.4 on the right, and you're going to get a 0 0.5 on the left. So understood, your R will be a 4 over 5, all right? Because it's 0 0.4 over 0 0.5, they will give you 8 over 10. Therefore, answer is going to be 0 0.8 ohm. It's a very direct question, all right? So I hope there is not much of a problem to all here. Let's move, all right? Uh, this is an easy one. It's a form 3 standard. All right, and uh, the same goes to this. You all should be able to do this type of question. All right, okay. Um, all right, I probably will show this because many students will not know what's the meaning of power. Power dissipated, we always use I squared R. All right, I squared and uh, R, okay? And the power dissipated is referring to the power dissipated, where is my, uh, okay, hang on. It will take some time for it to do loading. Let's take a good look. All right. You are given the potential difference, 8 volt and uh, internal resistance, 1 ohm. All right. And uh, oxide resistance, 10 ohm. So what you do, you do is you need to uh, get the total resistance. All right. Get a total resistance. So part one, to get total resistance, it must be, all right, total resistance. You're going to, or effective resistance. All right the external resistance plus the internal resistance, they will give you a 10 plus one, they will give you 11 ohm, all right? Okay, therefore you're going to find the current, okay? Very simple, potential difference supply, all right? Which is, I think it's going to be eight, right? No, it's going to be, a seems to be a six, right? Seems to be a six, all right? Over total resistance. So it's going to be a six over, 11 ohm all right ampere let it be so they are asking you for the power dissipated in the resistor so resistor is actually 10 ohm so power okay loss there's the meaning of power dissipated you always use formula i square r power without time huh? so what you do is you're going to take the 6 over 11 you're going to put the square there multiply with the resistance of the resistor which is a 10 so calculation will definitely will give you somewhere near to three one. Yeah, try it out, please. You'll be able to get the answer there. All right. Okay, you see the green button? That's the answer. All right. Shall we move to the next one? 
Okay, it's a simple one. Okay, let's move. All right. Okay, which one non-omnic? Okay, we know that omnic conductor potential difference must be directly proportional to current. I repeat, for omnic conductor potential difference must be directly proportional, meaning you expect to have a straight line go to origin. So the only graph that doesn't have a straight line is the curved graph, which is Q. All right, that's why the answer is going to be Q. All right, and I think this is going to be the last question. All right. Okay, understood. This is a rep repeating what we did. All right. Okay, diagram at the top. You look at the switch. All right, it's off. Then the reading of the word meter give you a six. And diagram at the bottom, you on it. So understood when you on it, the word meter reading will show you something less than six. This is uh, repeated in uh, electricity. All right, part one. Okay, with that, we come to the end of this session. All right, all the best to you. All right, we will do revision for other chapters like electromagnet, okay, in order to prepare you for your coming uh, trial exam and your SPM. All right, with that, ciao, all the best to you. Bye. See you in the, our next lesson.